Good morning. It is breakfast time here. I'm cooking up some eggs. Delicious. Harper May is over here having some watermelon. Are you having watermelon with your glasses? Hi. Do you see yourself? And uh, we're just having some breakfast and getting our morning started. We are having a really late morning today. It's already whew, almost 10 o'clock, but the girls didn't wake up until, Amelia didn't wake up until almost nine. Harper woke up at about 8.30. So Harper had a breakfast appetizer of Cheerios and now we are having some eggs. Do you need some more watermelon? Do you need some more watermelon? We can make that happen. So I think it's just gonna be a day at home getting some stuff done. I think I'm going to rearrange Harper's bedroom today and kind of explain why I'm doing that. We're gonna do some rearranging and just kind of being at home today. So we'll see how it goes. But first, watermelon girl. Amelia is over there. And she's watching uh, Skyla, as she calls it, or Erin Williams' vlogs. Those are her favorite. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of my favorite too. She is kind of my inspiration for doing all this. So, Erin Williams, if you ever see these videos, thank you. So let's cook these eggs. All right, are you having some delicious brunch? What? It's on. It's on. Are you having brunch? Of course, Harper's been eating for like the past 20 minutes. She's had cheese, watermelon, and eggs. Hi, Amelia is having cheese, watermelon, and eggs, and potentially that yogurt smoothie. Hello. Hello. This. Wipe your face. Independence at its finest. That's not wiping your face. Wipe your face. Wipe your face. No. <coughs> Wipe your face. That's not wiping your face. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? <laughs> That's not wiping your face. That's not wiping your face, silly. When I grow up, I want to be Amelia. Are you living your best life? Are you living your best life? Yeah, you are. You playing? So I take Harper's glasses off after a little while. Like I can tell when she's kind of had enough. So I took them off. They make her very tired. So I'll put them back on in a little while. I'm just giving her a break for a bit. She's still getting used to them. It's a big change. Um, and it's a lot of information for her brain to process when the glasses are on. So. We do the transitions for I don't know where this book. I don't know where this book. You want to do what? I don't know where this book. Let's turn the song on. Do you take Harper does not have any lenses. I'm taking my baby's eyes. Oh, you are? 
Uh-huh. Like the eye doctor? Um, what's the eye doctor? Oh, you're doing a great job. Harper does not have any lenses in either eye. So, just the fact that she does so well without glasses on, like, she shouldn't be able to see anything at all. And she does extremely well. But the glasses open up so much. Like, the glasses make her, allow her to see so much that uh, it's a lot of information bombarded in her brain when she wears them. So, it takes a toll. It makes her tired. And, um, it, it very well could give her a headache. So, we take it slowly right now. But she does really well. Yes. Oh, wow. anything. What are you doing? Looking at you. Don't look at me. Don't look at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those pants are so too big. You doing your puzzle? You wanna do the dog me? Do what? You wanna do the dog? Oh, this isn't the doggy one. It's just the regular one. Can you say hi? Okay. Somebody's ready for a nap. Watch the gate. Come on. Yeah. Yeah? Someone took a good nap and it had a good lunch. Are you dancing? What are you doing? Interpretive dance. Silly. Did this deal for $5, $5 each? So I got four Dr. Peppers for $5, a double order of breadsticks for five dollars this um, it's on the table it's not pizza that's bread go sit at the table I don't want it. your bread's on the table heat and repeat i got this Because I am on my own for a week. Um, my husband is. I don't want that. You want to look at the camera? You're a mess. So, David is gone. For work, he had to go to, um, he had to go out of town, he had to travel. So, it's girls party! Hi! Do you Hi. need a drink? Thanks for watching! <laughs> Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! <laughs> the vlog's not over yet. Alright, let's get, let's get Harper a drink! Harper needs a drink! Harper's thirsty! Harper needs a drink. Harper's thirsty. Okay, hold on. I got to put the lid on it with one hand. This is tricky. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hi. for washing. Okay. So here is Harper's room. Um, it was super cute when it was all put together. She has never slept in the crib. Ever. Longer than probably an hour. She's never slept in there. So, 
she's always either slept in our room or in here on the floor in the dock -a tot on the mattress. So, I think it's time, first of all, I think it's time to say goodbye to the dock -a tot which is really, really sad because number one, it has been extremely well loved, as you can see by her sweat marks and drool and milk and I think Amelia actually wrote on it somewhere at one point. Um, but she has slept in this nearly every night since she was born. In our bed, on vacation, um, everywhere. Docatot, I this I it's extremely expensive and but if I can recommend any baby product, it is this. I cannot I cannot say anything bad about the doc. Peace of mind and um the same sleeping environment. And Harper is 15 months old, almost 15 months old, and she's just now stopping sleeping in it, which Hi. This size is only recommended up to nine months, but she's so little that she was able to stay in it longer. Hi, what do you have? Oh, you better keep that in here. Your sister's not gonna be happy about that. Yeah. So it really depends on the size of your baby for how long you can use the deluxe and then move up to the grand. I don't know if we're gonna move up to the grand or not, honestly. She seems to be doing okay without the, the dock -a tot uh, She slept in here last night till like 1 a.m. without it, and then she did take an hour and a half nap in here today without it, and she seemed to do okay. So, I'm on the fence about the grand. I love the dock -a tot can't say enough great things about it. Anyway, moving on. So, what I think we're gonna do for Harper May's room is take the bed apart and put the crib mattress in this corner. <clears throat> then she's in a corner and I might take the tube out of there and put the tube under the mattress or under the mattress, under the um, crib sheet and see how she does with that. Then it, she's a little bit closed in, but not really. I mean, she does sleep in our bed just fine. She's been sleeping in her room for two weeks. In the middle of the night, I come and get her and she sleeps in our bed without the dock tot So, I mean, she can do it. Um, we'll just see. But yeah, I think it's time to take the crib down because she doesn't sleep in it. And say goodbye to the dock tot Sad. But she's growing up. She's getting big. All right, so I changed my mind and I went ahead and just took the um, bar off and made this a toddler bed. So we're gonna see how it goes as a toddler bed. I put the dock -a tot tubing around, but I'm very happy with it. This bar needs to be painted, but I'm very happy with it. Cross them for me, y'all. Cross them for me. That she sleeps in this. Oh, you're getting so big. You got a big girl bed. A big girl bed for Harper May. Now we just need to clean her room. I have cleaned up the same four items probably four times in the last hour. I'm still in Harper's room. Almost done. Just trying to get everything put away. I think it is gonna turn out super cute. Um, my next order of business is to get her some more like decoration and to paint. And I can't decide whose room is gonna be what color yet. I can't decide if I want to do Amelia's room purple or and Harper's room pink or the other way around um I don't know I feel like Harper is more pink I can't decide but I think her room is coming together great I need to get a rug 
and like I said, more decor. I think it looks really cute in here. That is all like laundry and stuff that needs to be taken out, and that sheet needs to be taken out. Um, but it looks really cute. Like I said, she needs decor and she needs um, wall paint. I could do pink and teal. This blanket is pink and the other side is teal. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm terrible at this. This is so hard for me. And then in Amelia's room, we're going to take my old crib that is wooden. So it's like a dark. Oh, it's this color right here. It's hard to see because the light's not on. But it matches with that dresser. And we're going to do her headboard and footboard in here. And I can't decide if I want to do pink and pink pink or purple in here comforter does not have any purple in it i guess i could do like this pink in here and like a barely pink in harper's room i don't know i just feel like harper's room would be so cute pink because her furniture is um gray and amelia's furniture is going to be wooden so like i'm going to I'll probably paint that like an accent color out of her um, bedspread. And then she's got her barn and her little vanity that Harper loves to play with. It is 8.45. Everybody is asleep. Harper's first night in her big girl bed. So keep them crossed for me. I just fed the dogs. I'm gonna straighten up a little bit more and call it a night myself. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with us on our crazy town adventure. And I'll see you in my next one. Follow, oh, um, quick thing. If you have like questions or anything about the girls being visually impaired, Harper's classes, me being visually impaired, anything like that, follow me on Instagram, Mama Vision underscore thingy two. Um, and I can answer all of that there and you can see more like in depth there. So thanks for watching.